You have to approve, the people have to approve the Constitution before you become whatever you want to become in the future. Mm -hmm. Because when, if the people reject it, it means you've got to go back and make the changes that the people want, so that when they form this, this new country, the basic laws, the constitutional laws, are in place. You can't put a country together and then say we're going to bring the Constitution afterwards for so there's approval. You have to do just the real revert. You have to approve the Constitution first, and then then you approve the, the, the country. Yeah, but, but then the, 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 mm -hmm. the argument could be is that we already have a constitution. It's just that, uh, as you are saying, um, you have to put it before, but they say, well, they already have a constitution. Well, they, they don't have it. I haven't seen it. What the Netherlands Antilles have a constitution? Yes. And the Netherlands Antilles, are, which I've always said, they, as far as I'm concerned, a little bit of the so-called St. Martin constitution that they have been speaking about, mm -hmm. um, what they have um, outlined, to me is nothing else but uh, the Netherlands Antilles Constitution where you take out the Netherlands Antilles and you put in the name of the word St. Martin, generally speaking. Because what does the Netherlands Antilles Constitution have? A parliament, 22 people. Now you're going to have a parliament, 15 people. And now uh, ministry, ministers, I think seven or nine, you're going to have ministers, um, seven. Um, a legal system that is controlled uh, through the Dutch language. You're going to have a constitution, a legal system that is controlled through the Dutch system. I mean, go down the line, you know, I mean, look at it, the, 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 the constitution of the Netherlands Antilles and look at the constitution and the, the, those what they have shown you so far, what they're spoken about the, uh, of the so-called country semantic. And you tell me where are the differences. And you're still going to have elections, proportional representation. You go have basically a list and you put a, a among of people on the list and the five or the six um, people that get elected is the same thing like the Netherlands. In fact, just to, to whet your appetite, they haven't even decided right now in the St. Martin Island territory, when you have an election and people are elected, for instance, on the island level, you know, the way we do it now is that the, the list is reversed and those that have the most votes come to the top. That's what happened on the island level now. For instance, if I'm number six, but I get the second highest amount of votes, mm -hmm. when they put the list together, for the island territory, I will jump up to the number two spot to get elected. That's, that's the way it happens on the island territory of St. Martin now. Mm -hmm. But on the Netherlands until his level, if I'm number six, even though I might get a certain more votes than everybody else except number one, if I don't get a certain amount of votes, number two still goes in. So they don't reverse it and bring number six up to number two. You stay there unless you really do super. Understand? And depend on how many votes. Now, in this new constitution that they put in, they haven't stated that in the new setup, if you are number 11 and you get elected, you will go up, as far as I know, to number two. It's almost like the old Antillian setup where the, the, if you're number 11, if you don't, or they get more votes than number two, you still don't come to number two. You still will stay down at 11 because you haven't dealt with those things. So even here you see the, the copying of the Antillian Constitution. Copy it's, and paste. Just take copy and paste, take out the word, um, Aunt Netherlands Antilles put in the word St. Martin, mm -hmm. and we have a cause. No, 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 no. That can't be. Mm -hmm. And that Constitution of the Netherlands Antilles that was put together in, in, in the 1900s and 1940s, 1950s, that constitution didn't go to the Antillian people for a referendum. Again, it was the so-called elected representative of the people that approved it, and it was basically and put. Again, now we're coming back 20, 60 years after. After we have now an educated population. Everybody, the average person could read and write, and we have constitution, and we have computers, and we have internet where they could put all of this thing on it, and let the people read it and study it and decide. Still, still. It's nothing like that. It's just what a couple of them is going to tell you and then tell you that this is the greatest thing on earth. Um, that the obvious is the greatest thing since um, sugar cake, right? I mean, come on, let's get real. Let's get real. If you're a Democrat by nature, if you believe in majority rules, then you're going to know it's even good for you, it's good for all of us. Let the people decide. So then I alone in decide, all of us decide it. And when all of us decide, all of our brains come together. And so we must have. We must have a better um, constitutional setup in every sense of the word.
But when one or two alone deciding, we have seen any time, any 